Hello everyone, I hope that you are doing great. So in this short video, I will show you how you can convert a series or a group of series of DCOM images into uh, nifty files. So here, as you can see, I have some a set of patients like this. So you, if you want, and for each patient, I have one, uh, some, fly, some slices. So in this case, I have one, 90, yeah, 96 uh, slice of each patient. So I want to convert all these decom series into one nifty file so that I can, I will have a volume file. Maybe you will need for deep learning setting or I don't know for that. So. In this case, I will show you how you can convert a uh, only one patient like this if you need it, and I will show you how you can convert all these patients in one run, which means we will add only a loop. So to do that, we have only we we need this uh, library, which is decom to nifty. You can you can install it by pip install like this decom to nifty. And for me, it is already installed, but in your case, you should install it. Then, after this installation, we, you, we will need only one line. For me, I have imported these three uh, parts. This part for the whole patient, for all the patients that I show you. This one is for the output, and this uh, and this part is for the for one patient. So we will start by this thing, which is one patient. Then we will go to all the patients that we have. So here, I will show you that you can do it in only one line, as I told you. So here we have decom to nifty. Then there are two functions to do this. There is this function, which is convert directory, and there is decom series to nifty. This both functions does the, do the same thing. But for this function, you don't have the access to name the, for the file or to compress if you want. You don't have the access. You will give it only the uh, the input, the directory, which means the directory for all the decoms, decoms. Then you will give it for the second parameter. You will give it the path of the output. Then that is. It will name the file by I think one point nii. So in this case, if you want to convert more than one patient, you cannot use this function because. You cannot uh, you cannot change the name of the of the patient each time. So in this case, it will give all the patients the same name, which is one. So it will compress all the patients. In this case, I will I recommend you to use this one. For me, in all the cases, this uh, function is the best because it does the same thing and it gives you the access to rename or to name the file. So I will use this for this example, and I recommend you to use this one. You don't even need the other one, but I thought that may uh, need the explanation. So here, as I told you, we have two uh, two parameters. The first parameter is the input or the directory for the decom, and the second one is for the output. As I told you, we'll start by only one patient, so we'll use this path, which is for one patient, so patch one patient. Then the second part will be the second parameter will be the output path plus the name of the file. So in this case we have this path, so I will just take it. But here, as I told you, we need name and we need the uh, we need the path and the name of the file. There are two ways to do it. You can use only the strings. For me, I don't prefer this. I prefer to use the OS library. So import OS because I need that path that join because it is for me it is better than using only the strings. So here I will call the function what I am writing path that join like this. Then here you will put the first thing which is path output data. Then the second parameter will be the name of the of the patient. So what will do, what this function will do is only take for example if we have this is the path of the output and this is the name of the patient. So it will concatenate the the path with the name. That's what this function will do. So don't think about it. So here we have the name of the of the uh, we have the path. Then we will put the name. So in my case maybe I can put it patient test for example one maybe. Yeah, then you need to add the extension, which is the extension for the nifty file, which is NII. You can leave it like this, or you can add the extension that GZ, which is for the compressed file. So in this case, it will convert the, the decom file and it will compress at the same time. 
So if you need it like this, you can put it all. Otherwise, if you don't need a compressed file, so you can remove that this d uh, that g z. In my case, I will leave it because I need it a the, a compressed file. And now we will see here. This is the path. I don't remember what is the output path. So no 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 no. This file. You can. I don't remember what is this one. Yeah, all the data, train data. Yeah, we will see it here. The the file that we will convert. Now you remember patient test one nifty that gz. So we we'll see there is no there is no this file. It is not existing here. So we'll run the code. Just few seconds, and that's it. Uh, patient. What is it? I can't see it here. There is something. Uh, ah, it is in the label. Sorry, <laughs> it is here. That's it. Here is the file that we have converted. Now, as you can see, this uh, step was only for one uh, patient. So if we want to do it for the whole patient like this, for example, what is, I will just create a new folder because we need it. I will put it, for example, test, yeah, test data converted, yeah, I will copy this and that's it. Now. We'll come back to the patient decom series and decom data, for example. We'll go to here. So, if you want to convert all these patients at the same time uh, with one run, for which I which I want to say, which I want to say. So, in this case, we we'll just uh, create a loop that will loop for all these for all the patients and putting and using this same function. So, how, how to do that? I will just change this output path into this okay now as i told you we create a for loop that it that we loops into all the files that we have so now we will use this uh, i will just put this as a comment so we will use this part for now because this part contains all the images because you can see here this star means all the files or all the folders that are in this path so to, to see what we have here, I we can we can uh, what we can do we can print the globe ah, before that I should import it but I will globe then path like this we will import from globe I can type now <laughs> import globe like this so we will we'll print this globe this or this path or the file that we have in this uh, in this path so this globe function what it will do it will take this path and we see all the folders that all the folders or the files that are in this file in this path and it will create paths for each folder of these so we we'll go here for example this we have all these files so this function what it will do it will take this file a folder in this case and it will create the path to this folder and the path to this this into all the all the files so in this case we will have i will show you here as you can see we have the paths or of all the patients that we have okay now it is easy to do it now what we have to do only to take the before that i want just to do something I will take only four or five passing so that it will not take time. So data for test maybe files. I don't know. So we will take the path of this folder, which is this, and I will change it here. 
like this. I need to reverse this because it may cause a problem if you have a slash t or slash n or something. So we we'll leave it like this. This is our data with our folder which contains only five or say six days, six passings. So because if we, if I will leave all the passings, it will take a lot of time in this video, and we don't need to see all these conversions. So here I will clear this. Now, as I told you, we create a loop that will go for all these patients. So what we have to do is for patients in, so we can create this and put it in a in variable, but we don't need to create a variable, we'll put it here. So for patients in this, which means for paths of patients in all the paths that we have, that we have created using the globe function. Now we will do the same thing here so I will take control C control V like this now now what will change is the path of this passing so directory for all the decoms that we have so in this case we should change this uh, this path here into the patient because the patient variable here or the index of the loop which will take the Parts or yes, the parts of the patient. So we should put it here. So in each iteration, it will change the path of the patient, which means it will change the files or the decom files of the patients. So here I will put it like this patient because it will change. Now the output here, I will leave it the output folder, which is which we have created now. Then the name of the patient, we need to change it. Here I can leave it one, otherwise it will be something ugly. For me, I will do something else. I will put it, for example, here. There are a lot of th things that you can do to change the name of the patient. And for me, the easiest one is to do this and we should add the enumerate and the index, which is the I, which will go from zero into six in our, into five in our case, because we have six files. So this index will put it here instead of only one, it will change zero, one, two, three, five. So in this case, we will have five names for five patients. Now, yes, here I should add enumerate like this and here this i will change as i told you so what we can do we can just put here and uh, this now otherwise you can you can add something else but for me i think this is the easiest one so we can we can leave it like this i so it will have patient zero or we can add here plus one so but should convert it into str to string because if we leave it like that it will not work because we need string here so we'll put the we will take this i we'll add it to add to it uh, one so in in the index zero it will be one two three into six because we have six patients then it will convert it into string and it will put it in the name here now everything is set but before that i prefer to do something here I will put the I will uh, add the uh, library to ta Takadum. So this I will I will convert it here because why I am using this library because if you will run this code like this without adding anything, so you will not see in which patient or for me it, it is not important to add this part that I am talking about because if you will run it it will go but if you want to see the progress the progress of your conversion so you can add the Takadum uh, which is this one this one the library you can add it here to see uh, to give you the progress bar for now we have only six patients so we don't need it uh, but otherwise if you need it you can put it here now we will run the code you can see because if you are using this the, the function that's I think that there is problem here no such final no, no, patients this data converted I think that this part is wrong we'll see about it on all the data Oh, 
I forget to name it. I don't know what is doing here. Yeah, this folder we have created, but I forget to name it. I don't know. That's it. So you can see here we have this is the name of the folder. Now it should work like this. The same thing. Test data. The problem is ah, I understood. It is not in this. I am very sorry about this stupid mistake. <laughs> now it should work. <laughs> So you can see that the I, I stopped the video because it took some uh, minutes or two minutes. For that I told you if you are using a progress bar or something it will help you to know in which index the, the loop is. But for now we go here and you can see that we will find the file that we have created. So we have patient test 1, 2, 3, 4 until 6. So that was for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and I see you in the next videos. Bye.